Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Frank's Handyman. Today we're back here on this building doing some other, other things that we have to do here. We had to fix some um, little minor things. There's a lot of things that, you know, needs to be done when it comes down to details. There's, uh, like I mentioned, these two had fallen off already. They were too loose. So right now what he's doing is just taking off all the old, um, what's called practically just the granite uh, cement here. So we have to take that off and put some new one. That way we're able to just put them back on there and they're able to hold a lot better than the old ones were. And he's also gonna spread some there on the surface before putting them on. And all he has to do is just make sure to just, when he puts it, that it's level to the other ones that are already there. That way it just looks flush. We're also gonna be putting some new uh, vinyl flooring on the bathroom and on the kitchen. So right now what our colleague is doing is just taking off the toilet. On the toilet see on the left and on the right side, there's some little caps. And if you take those off, then you're gonna see, be able to see some uh, screws on there. You just have to take those off. That way you're able to just pull out the toilet once you also disconnect the water. Right now he's ripping off uh, all the old vinyl flooring here on the kitchen as well, because we're gonna take uh, this out. So like I mentioned, um, this is, we're just going to be preparing this today. Eventually we ordered the material, so we're still going to wait for it until it arrives. But today you're going to be looking at how the whole preparation goes before installing it. As well, we have to take out the appliances. Uh, we're going to have to take out, uh, as you see right here, the stove. And with the stove, um, what you want to make sure is if it's gas, to make sure that you turn off the gas before you take it off. And then you're going to see here as well how they do the process of taking it out. This is how the bathroom is going to be looking as well. We're going to tear everything apart. You see our colleagues already taking out the, the toilet seat there. And now we're going to be able to have a lot more space and be able to work freely there by taking out all the vinyl flooring. Now that we shut off the gas, now we're able to disconnect it as well from the stove here. Uh, just with the wrench, he's gonna uh, just unscrew it there and then we're gonna be able to just take it off uh, just because it's a lot easier to also take off the vinyl flooring there. And also you wanna get the vinyl flooring under all the appliances. So uh, it's crucial to be able to take it out. Like I mentioned, if it's gas, you have to make sure that it's just, it's just shut off. You don't wanna have any type of incident. And as you see, once we took the vinyl flooring off, you're just gonna uh, take a lot of the small debris out there. Out of there, you have to, uh, just because when we put the new uh, material on there, we're also gonna put a, a certain type of glue that you have to make sure that there is nothing uh, of debris on. So right now, that's just one of the, the most tedious things with these things is that you have to ensure that everything is well uh, with the floor. There can't, there can't be really any debris or any type of bumps because once you put that vinyl flooring, you're gonna be able to, to feel it. So uh, that's the main reason why they have to be really detailed when taking out all of this. Like I mentioned, they're gonna be scraping off everything and then as well, just making sure to broom off all the debris. Our colleague here is just also taking out all the old caulking there. Some of it was pretty uh, hard to get out just because it was that old. So he's gonna be wiping everything off. Then he's gonna use some paint thinner. 
uh, as well he's going to be putting it on there with a with a with a little towel you just have to damp it up and then go all around the edges and then it's easier for all that stuff to come off and then you just have to wait to dry before you put the caulking so today that's what he's going to be doing just ensuring you know that all the old caulking is there this is the paint thinner that he used so you could also get it at home depot and right now he's going to be just preparing that for tomorrow as well to put the new caulking just because he has to wait until it dries As you guys can see here, this is how uh, the kitchen is going to come along. The bathroom already, we're done taking out all the debris out there as well. The, the bathtub is now ready to put the, the caulking for the next day. And also the kitchen floor is ready as well. Wow, that one last thing we had to do was put a second pane of coat on the walls. And you're going to see that whole process of that as well. And then at the end, you're just going to see how the whole uh, finished product was of the, uh, of the paint. And it came out looking great. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have a whole new project while we also wait for the new material to come here on the vinyl flooring. So stay tuned for that. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you as well for the next video.